every workday, walking into the elevator and see myself in a mirror um, in my business attire. I looked presentable, but felt like an outcast. Last year, I was sitting at my desk on the trading floor um, and just doing my normal work routine, um, working on spreadsheets while calling my clients and hoping they don't hang up on me because I will have to lock in all the call reports. Every day felt so repetitive um, with all the reports, weekly updates, annual reports, quarterly reports, monthly reports, just all these reports. I feel like just Excel in Excel. And um, I felt like an NPC, a non-player character um, in the live simulation games. I was feeling really sad and really lost in my life. So I always constantly asking me, um, asking myself the same question. Who am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? So the first time when I stand in front of the camera, I felt alive. Um, I just get the feeling that, oh wow, that's such a new experience to me. Um, I was invited to be in a um, com commercial film um, as a main character, um, as an office lady. I was asked to wear my <laughs> um, work outfit since I already have the whole wardrobe. I thought I was so special and turned out they were just short in budget. Um, so they found me. But I was really grateful for the opportunity. So um, if you're watching this, thank you, Erin. Um, um, so although wearing the same outfit, I felt completely different. I was like so lively and I just had so much energy just feeling not dead inside. Um, I was like looking really emotionless at the time, um, but I was secretly screaming inside saying, oh my God, I'm gonna be a movie star. Consider I had zero acting background and not sure what I was doing, but actually I had the strange feeling that I know what I'm doing, like I'm really comfortable with everything, although I'm really new and I wasn't really afraid. I know which is my good side, where's the camera. I just feel connected and just using my hyperactive imagination. So um, I feel like actually I'm a player in the game. So that's something different from my experience like working in a corporate life. Um, I was this office lady who's like really bubbly and um, has a lot going on and value family and friends first. Um, it just through the layer, I feel like I had the control of my own thoughts, my body movement. Um, and the first time I feel like, oh, I'm in control and I know how I wanted to present in a creative and authentic way. So through her, I just got inspiration and wanted to do more. I remember sitting on um, set in a Pernican coffee shop um, with my other outcast banking friends, um, making a short film um, adapted from the movie In a Move for Love. I was wearing Chang Sam and have been practicing how to walk in an elegant way um, and how to serve tea while I was tremendously overwhelmed by my dead husband on set um, who came back to life on the Ghost Festival. It was just like different setup. So um, all these crazy little stories like just bring me into a different world to explore different ways of living um, and just different life journeys. So each story different setup, different background, I was just very excited each time. So um, I was really grateful for all the opportunity that people um, gave me. So just one after one, and that became my escape. Um, and that inspired me in so many different ways. Um, so I got posted um, in Hong Kong for three months for a business trip um, to visit my manager who's based in Hong Kong. Um, I was diagnosed there um, with sudden hearing loss. Um, I was very stressed and didn't know what's going on. I went to the doctor and asked the doctor, what happened to my ear? Um, and like, what should I do? The doctor did multiple examinations and did, in the final review he said, you're fine, everything's okay, you're actually, there's no issues in your ears, we did check. So I asked, so then what happened? And he said, you're just too stressed. 
And I said, how should I, what should I do to ease my symptoms, like to be less stressed? He said something that I would never forget. He said, look down. Everyone on the street is more stressed than you. Wow, that's Hong Kong. I was very in shock and didn't know what's going on. Um, and at the time, my manager was being very micromanaging. Um, she would count how many minutes I was in the bathroom. Um, it was driving me a little bit crazy. So one day, um, I woke up at 4 a.m. with my eyes wide open, with only one shot, uh, one thought, in shock. I need to quit. So um, I was thinking if acting brings me all the joys, um, makes me full of wonder, um, passion, and creativity. And why am I here? Um, why am I so stuck up to the job that, yeah, pays my bills, but I wasn't entirely happy, and I just don't understand. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know half of the time what am I doing. Um, I'm just on the trading floor and just feeling that, oh, I have this title and very lost. Um, so right after New Year, I came back to Singapore. Um, it was a sunny, like bright Friday afternoon. Um, I was at my desk and then went to a meeting room. So my manager turned on the camera and she looked at me and said, wow, you're in the meeting room. That's formal. I say, yes. Before we start, I would like to hand in my resignation. Um, she said, is there anything that I could do to make you stay? She asked, like, diplomatically, knowing that I'm definitely not a fan of her management style. And I said, no, just let me go. Um, so I quickly packed my desk um, and sent my farewell letter and left the floor ASAP because on the trading floor, if you leave, like you just gone on a date. So um, one last time, I walked in and out of that elevator, but with my biggest smile. And I think that is one of the best decisions I ever made to just call it quit. And that's something to follow my heart and chase my dream. So not really recommended, um, but <laughs> <laughs> if you do, do it. Yes. That's me. Thank you so much.